Hello all. So if you have a car and you push on the gas pedal but it won't move and it won't accelerate and start going, but you, you can see the RPMs going up, the engine's revving, then there's a, a, some pretty common causes for this, which I'll go over. So the first thing to check would be the transmission fluid. This is very common. If the transmission fluid gets low, then it won't be able to kick in the gear and, and get going, but the engine will rev up. The first thing you need to do is go out and, and check check that be sure it's in neutral or in park because uh, some people will start pouring in transmission fluid and forget it's in gear since it's not moving and all of a sudden it'll kick into gear so be sure you're inside of a park or neutral before you start checking it or adding any fluid in every vehicle is a little bit different on how they do it most of a lot of them will be in park and some of them will be in neutral when you're checking it sometimes they need to be warmed up and some of them will have a thing like this right here where it'll say cold or hot but however it is you have to look it up if you have to but basically just check that and be sure your transmission fluid is at the right level because that's a very common problem low low transmission fluid next common thing is the transmission's gone bad if the transmission fails some of the gears inside of there go bad then they're not going to be making connections and you're going to it's not going to move the vehicle Hopefully this doesn't happen and uh, it's just low on transmission fluid, but something to keep in mind is a failed transmission, especially if you hear clunking or anything like that going on. If you hear some kind of grinding or clunking when you go to rev up and it's not moving and you check the fluid, then you might have a problem with the transmission. And next up is the torque converter, which is uh, right in front of the transmission. It's full of a uh, transmission fluid and it spins around. If one of these go bad, then usually before the car stops moving, you'll feel kind of some kind of shuddering or slipping, lagging kind of feeling, you know, vibration. That's usually the cause. You'll know that uh, it might be a torque converter. You have to pull the transmission to get to this. But number three would be uh, a torque converter. Some other things to keep in mind here is if you have a manual or a stick, if you have a manual transmission, which is not common these days, then you might have a bad clutch. If you have a bad clutch, it'll do that. And the last thing on the list would be the engine control module or felt sensor. Each vehicle is a little different on how they operate, so you'll have to look into it. But there is some vehicles will have uh, a drivetrain controls that may uh, have gone bad, and you need to look into why these controls are not engaged in the system. This is uh, more common on uh, newer cars. If you have an older car, like especially like over 10, 15 years old, you probably won't have this problem. But new, a lot of newer cars are starting to do some different types of controls that are more controlled by the onboard computer and sensors as far as revving the engine and engaging the transmission as they used to be in the older days. So it's something to keep in mind and something to look into depending on your vehicle and the year it was built. The last on the list would be the engine control module or a felt sensor. So that's just some basic overview of the most common causes and fixes when a car won't accelerate and it won't move, but the RPM, the engine revs. If you have anything to add, please uh, comment down below. But that's basically it. If you have any questions, ask me down below and I'll try to answer them. If this video helped you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.